Keegan, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, we are going to be talking about what you need in a dorm. Last year I was a freshman and I lived in a dorm at Arizona State University. This year I'm a sophomore and I'll be living in my sorority house, which I'll also be living in a dorm again. So all these things I will be bringing once again, these are the essentials. Like I could not live without these. I don't think you could live without these either. I will also be doing a video about what not to bring in a dorm and then what people forget to bring to a dorm. So those are coming. I also have two giveaway, that's four, but Two giveaways going on, one's on my Instagram and then one's on my YouTube channel. So I will have the Instagram one, so go follow me, check it out, and then my YouTube one, I'll have the link down below for it if you guys want to enter. Okay, I was gonna like do like a cool like little thing like that, but then it didn't work out. So we're just gonna be talking about what we need in a dorm. First thing you need in a dorm is a shower caddy. So whether it is a communal bathroom or like a suite style, I lived in a suite style, so me and my roommate shared a bathroom with me and our suite mates, so four people shared one bathroom. Whether or not you have a communal or a suite style bathroom, you want a shower caddy because the showers are so small, like I could barely, like the showers are like this big. They were like that that big. Like I could barely move. I couldn't even like turn. There's not enough room to store like your shampoo, conditioner, face wash, body wash, all that stuff. So having a shower caddy is really important. I personally liked having one like lots of pockets and then holes in it so it could like drain the water. So when you take it out there's like still not water sitting in it. Because I personally like sat my shower caddy on the floor because there was nowhere to like hang it or anywhere else. Like it was just, it was a very tight space. So having a really good shower caddy with holes, need it. Next thing you're going to need is a vacuum. So when I went to college my mom's like don't buy a vacuum yet there may be a floor vacuum so if you're going to buy a vacuum maybe like hold off because there could be one but for mine there wasn't and one time my mom went to visit me and um she was very disappointed in me because there was stuff everywhere my roommate at the time had this like poof like thing on the floor and it like shed everywhere so there's like white fluff everywhere so gross so my mom came saw that and she immediately ordered me a vacuum as a present so thank you mom she ordered me one from amazon that was refurbished so i would definitely recommend doing that and i would honestly recommend and getting a nice vacuum will be one that you can use you know when you have an apartment when you move out of college all that stuff because the little handheld ones they have the ones I'm talking about that like the little hand don't get the handheld ones do not unless you want to like go to every little corner of your floor and be like you don't want to get a handheld one just get a nice one mine's like a longer one it's great and if you can find a refurbished cheaper one then definitely go for it but get a nice vacuum that's something that you want to splurge on next thing you're going to want is a floor lamp so I did not have one until second semester I asked for it for Christmas because I did not have one my room did not have lights we had a big window and that was about it so in the middle of the night there were no lights the only thing that I had to light up my room was my desk lamp and it just like wasn't enough so even if your dorm does have lights those dorms are pretty dark because the lights aren't that bright so i recommend getting a floor lamp something that will light up your room i got mine from Am I'm everything's from amazon oh my gosh this is not sponsored by amazon just letting you know next thing you're going to want is a steamer to steam your clothes obviously you don't want an iron because that is like first off a safety hazard i don't think they're allowed in dorms because they can catch on fire number two you don't want to have to have like an ironing board all that stuff store it so a nice little handheld steamer is nice to get all the wrinkles out of your clothes. Clorox wipes are my best friend. If you get Clorox wipes, I feel like it can save you from having to get as much cleaning supplies. Like you won't really need like a ton of like wood sprays and this stuff and this stuff and this stuff. Like a Clorox wipe is pretty universal and I use the Clorox wipes to clean everything like my desk, my counters, my door handles, my sink. Like I use them for everything so I'd recommend getting like a big jumbo pack from Costco because that will save you money and it will last you the entire year. I don't know what these things are called but I'm gonna call it a special dish scrubby. So these are one of the like dish scrubby things that you can put soap on the inside of them and like press a little button have soap dispense out of them it saves you a ton of soap instead of having to like use dish soap and like clean every single time you just press the button it saves a ton of money and time and you definitely need to clean your dishes i recommend getting one of those instead of the regular dish scrubbies or sponges and i heard that sponges are really gross and hold a lot of bacteria so a mattress topper oh my oh like, you're gonna need a mattress topper girl like <laughs> It's just so bad. Do you know like when you think of like camp, like going to like a camp and they have like the bunk beds are like really uncomfortable? Yeah, so that's what they give you in college. And I splurged, I got, it's like $50, so I don't know if that's considered splurging, but I got like a four inch mattress topper from Bed Bath & Beyond. Comfiest thing ever. Every single person like goes on my bed, they're like, ooh. This is so nice. I'm like, I know it is. I spent a lot of money on it. The beds are really uncomfortable. I've actually slept on them without the mattress topper because I was curious to see like what they felt like. And they weren't like horrible, but having a mattress topper and having your bed be comfy makes your place feel a lot more homey. And that's one of my biggest tips to really not get as homesick is like to make your environment feel very comfortable and welcoming. Girl, extension cords. You're going to need a ton of them. They really didn't give me a ton of cords in college. So I had to have an extension cord for my fridge, for my microwave, for my phone charger, for my lamp, for other, I don't know 
what else you plug cords into? I got mine from Costco. Okay, a little haul. So I got some from Costco last year and it came in a pack of two of these and then one of these. And what I really like about these is it has like the little USB port right there. That's my haul. You're definitely going to need one because there's not a lot of surge. I don't know what they're called, like little little face looking things in college. The things that you insert this into. They had like three in my dorm and that's it. Next thing you're going to want is like a wallflower, or like something to like mask the scent of your trash can. Febreze, some kind of like smelly things, except for candles because those aren't allowed. But I really liked having like one of the wall plug things that like Sense. Trash cans can smell really gross, especially because your trash can in your dorm is small. They give you them, so you won't really have a lid to them. They're like this, you know, but like uglier. This one's kind of cute. But they don't have a lid, so you will smell all this stuff. Like if you throw something away and it's there in your trash can for a week before you throw it out, it's going to make your room smell. It's a very small room, so the smell can travel really easily. So if you plug something in by your trash can to make the room smell better, it will change your life. You won't be smelling your dirty old pizza. I don't know if every single school does this, but my school has a little subscription thing where they give you like water jugs like you can buy water jugs and they'll like put them outside your dorm and like you fill them up i really recommend doing this water is something that i kind of like just skipped over when i was thinking about college because i was like oh like whatever i'll just use my brita filter i loved my brita filter but the one problem was my sink was not deep enough for the brita filter to fill in so i literally had to get a little cup and like keep pouring it in and I would probably drink like seven of the Brita water okay that's like such a stretch maybe like three of the entire like Brita's a day so it would never be cold it was just like a whole issue and there wasn't really anywhere for me to fill up my water bottle so I would recommend getting like if your school has like a water jug subscription service where they like give you water jug I would really recommend doing that for your water and also you can split it with your roommates and suite mates to make it a lot cheaper command tape in dorms you cannot like put holes into the wall or anything like that these are really good they don't peel off the paint for the most part and they're really great for like hanging picture frames or things like that command hooks as well are awesome i would also recommend getting a fan because dorms can be pretty hot i know in arizona it's like 118 degrees outside when you're moving in some dorms don't have air conditioning i know in other states so i'd recommend getting like a little fan because i personally like to fall asleep when it's like freezing cold like antarctica level and then i can like bundle up with my like blanket you know kind of cute i'd recommend just getting like a little small like stand still fan next thing i recommend getting is an id holder for the back of your phone you will need your school id for everything anytime you scan into your dorm room anytime you take a test you need that id for everything so if you have on the back of your phone at all times you'll be fine or you can just have one of those like that you attach to your keys i have one but i don't want to go get it they're kind of like keychains so i'd recommend getting something to hold your student id so it's on you at all times let's talk about luggage so i know a lot of people when they move to school they use their suitcases and then they'll be like mom can you bring my suitcase back with you don't do this because you're going to need a suitcase for first off when you move out second off when you go on vacation go back home for the holidays something like that so you're going to want to keep your luggage for me i found that my suitcase cases fit really easily underneath my bed because there was a lot of space under my bed. That is a little tip for you guys for where you can store your luggage. Another thing is a portable charger. You'll probably be like in class in the library out doing stuff all the time and your phone may die so having a portable charger like in your school backpack is super nice. You don't need to go back to your dorm all the time to go get it. Drawer organizers. These are from Ikea. They also have them like on Amazon or things like that. These will help you stay organized in your drawers. I also find that you can store a lot more in your drawers with them and since you don't have a ton of storage I really recommend getting them. Vitamin C. You get so sick in college. There's so many new germs. People from like different places coming in all at the same time. Someone's sick, they can get you sick. All the surfaces are like contaminated with bacteria. So if you guys have like vitamin C like pills or energy shots or something like that, I'm not trying to like push pills on you. That's not me. I'm not doing that. But if you take any form of vitamin C, that would be really good to help your immune system. Sweatpants, lounging clothes, things like that. No one really wears like fancy clothes to college. If you have to pick like, should I bring my leggings or should I bring my skinny jeans? Bring your leggings. Dishes, things like bowls, cups, plates, things like that. You're going to be eating. Whether or not you eat in the dining hall or not, there's still going to be times where you eat in your dorm, like cereal, pizza, things like that. So you're going to want plates, dishes. They really cheap ones out there. I got mine for like 50 cents. Storage bins. You're going to want more storage for like your clothes and stuff. The stuff that they give you really doesn't house a lot of stuff. I brought my dresser. I may be extra, but they have like clear bins and things like that if you want to store your clothes and shoes and things like that that you can do. An ottoman. If you guys remember, I had a pink ottoman. I really like these because your beds are a little bit taller so you can step on the ottoman to get to your bed. Also, the one that I had had storage in it so I could store like shoes, things like that in there. If you get one that has legs like I do, just be careful when you step on it to like get on top of your bed because 
because if I stepped like a little bit to the right of my ottoman and not directly in the center, I would fall over. The ottoman would like collapse and fall over. Make sure when you're stepping on them to like step even with pressure in the middle of the ottoman and not kind of like on the side. It's really funny watching someone fall, but like it's not funny when it's you. A long phone charger, this is the best thing ever. Apple has a lot of them. You get them on Amazon. Even if you do have an extension cord, sometimes the cords are really far away from your bed. Like I know on the other side of my room where my roommate was, her cord was like at the very end of her bed and like not by like her head or anything. So having a long cord will help you out. A mini fridge, obviously I'm sure you guys have already thought about that, but if you are going to get one, I really recommend getting the bigger ones and not the little ones, like the ones with the full freezers because you want a lot of room for like your food, your snacks. A lot of people that got the mini ones hated it. They didn't have enough storage. I know someone that got like a huge one from Costco that was like super duper tall, even bigger than the one that I had. If you're going to get a mini fridge, I'd recommend just splurging and getting the bigger one because you're going to realize like, whoa, I don't have any room in this thing. I know someone that actually had to buy a second one. Anything to like pamper yourself like face masks, hair masks, things like that. You don't want to like leave all your self care behind at home because you want to nourish yourself, pamper yourself. You will be living here for like nine months. You want to have a spa night. I really recommend getting velvet hangers. I got a pack of like a hundred for thirty dollars from Costco. No, Amazon. It was the best thing ever. I really like them because they're velvet so the clothes don't like fall off and they're also super thin so you can fit a lot more clothes on closet in your closet. Yeah. Out of any hanger, I definitely recommend that one. Last thing is your social security card. You may need this if you want to get a job. I know some people wanted to get on campus jobs and then their parents had like ship them their social security card, health insurance cards, things like that. Any like paperwork documents that you will need. Make sure you bring that with you and then just keep it in like a safe little folder or something. That was everything that you will need in your dorm room. Don't forget to enter my two giveaways on Instagram and then my YouTube one which will be linked down below. And then get excited for the two other videos that I will be doing. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video.